everybody and welcome on back to Building with Whip. Today is episode 140 and we are working here on our port city again. We got a bunch of awesome stuff going in the last episode. We built up this tree, the little flower box, added a cart in here and kind of talked about how to add detail throughout the city from even little things such as like putting some coarse dirt on your roads to make it look like carts are carrying dirt along it. And I had so much fun doing that. Thank you guys all so much for the support on that. The support on this series has been killer for the last two weeks. So if you guys are still enjoying it, be, please be sure to hit that like button to show me that you guys want to be seeing more. It really helps me out here, guys. So thank you guys so much for all of that awesome support. Anyways, today's episode, what we're going to be working on today is something highly, highly requested by quite a few people. A few episodes back, I was asking you guys for ideas on things that we can include in a town and things that we are things that we should include in the city what type of structures what type of buildings one of the most highly requested things was some form of a guard barracks or a guard outpost or some sort of guard area down by the water apparently a lot of people want to see like a barracks or something so today's episode we're going to be tackling that we're not going to be doing a full barracks but more of like an outpost area where people can come down into these places kind of control what's going on down here in the dock. So kind of like the dock guard house or something like that is what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and take this building right here and build it up on this guy. First thing I want to do on it, though, is I'd love to do a little bit with kind of reworking this area. Yes, we're playing with shaders today. If you guys didn't notice, um, kind of hard to miss them. But we're going to be playing with shaders. I kind of want to just test it out for a little while just to kind of see what they look like and playing with them a little bit. I kind of missed them. I used to only play with shaders and I like to go and back to them every once in a while. But yeah, so we're going to be building up a another tower bit right here. So it's kind of coming up out of the guardhouse. Then we'll have like an entrance over to here. I'm thinking we're going to make this guy a little bit longer. So I'm thinking maybe we'll go ahead and bring it out another three blocks over there. And then also out another three blocks right here. And then we'll kind of redesign that line. But I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and get the base layout in this done. And I got something fun I want to show you guys. I went ahead and did a bunch of end rating, recorded the whole thing in super fast time lapse mode, and I had a lot of fun doing it. So I'm going to send you guys over to that, and we're going to have a little bit of a time lapse chat. We haven't done one of those for a very long time, so hope you guys enjoy that one, and I will see you guys after this here time lapse. For today's time lapse chat, we're going to be doing a super fast time lapse of us exploring through the end, grabbing a bunch of loot. And what I want to talk to you guys about, first and foremost, thank you guys all so much for all of the support recently. If you guys haven't noticed yet, we broke 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys all so much for that. At this point in time, we're actually above 5,200, which is insane. The growth on the channel recently has been awesome. And for, the, for those of you new guys here, I promised a little while ago, well first, actually January 1st of this year, I set a goal of hitting 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. Obviously, we have hit that goal. And coming forward with that goal, I said as well that once we hit that, I would start working on setting up some sort of a server, some sort of a place for all of you guys to come and play together, experience Minecraft and do all that survivally fun, super cool stuff with like the whole Flip community, which is weird to be saying, but yeah. That's kind of where we're at right now. I am actually actively talking with a few different server hosts to see if we can get some sort of a sponsorship because cash for me is a little bit tight and I don't really have the ability to be doing all that and funding a server and completely like that. So I'm currently looking to the ideas of different hosts and things. If you guys have any questions or concerns or comments or suggestions on where we should go for that, be sure to let me know that down in the comments below. Also, more importantly, for those of you who would want to play on the server, please let me know that down in the comments below because I want to be doing the server for you guys. This is not something for me. This is very much for you guys as kind of a thank you for all the support recently. So I'd love to know out of everybody here who would be interested in watching or who would be interested in playing on those and as well as who would be interested in say watching a series from there with like playing with the community and all that stuff be sure to let me know that down in the comments below i'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say on it because it will very much directly influence the speed at which this thing comes out if there's a lot of hype about it of course i'll be working on it harder and getting it done more efficiently and trying to push these people who i'm trying to get the sponsors sponsorships through more quickly as well but anyways, guys, that's going to do it pretty much for today's time-lapse chat. Be sure to let me know all that stuff down in the comments below. That would be super helpful for me. Thank you guys for this one. Thank you guys all so much for the support. And let's hop back into the world and get back over to the city. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed all that end rating. That was super fun. We got so many shulkers. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. All of it is in that chest right there above my head. And I do have to say something before I open this. I have installed the data pack that guarantees shulkers drop two shells. End rating is not my favorite thing to do, so I figured that's the way I can entice myself to do it and not have to do it as, off as often to get rid of a little bit of the grind. Anyways, here we go. We got five stacks of shulker shells. We got one, two, three, four, five, six elytras. We got a handful of diamond gear. We got a quarter stack of diamonds. We got two more shulker boxes there that we crafted up while going through. And we got a few various tools. Uh, we got an efficiency five unbreaking three pick, which is awesome. And then a lot of this gear has just mending and unbreaking and all that stuff on it. It's so, so nice. We are more than set on shulker shells for the next while. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of extra boxes. Let's see, that's one stack, two stacks, and a little bit more. <laughs> we can make a lot of shulkers, guys. Time to farm up all of the resources. I'll tell you what, let me get this organized out and we'll get back over to the city. All right, guys, we are now completely back from our end rating. Everything is put away. We are good to go and it is time to start building up on that. I think we are actually 100% set on shulker boxes and all that good stuff for a long while. Five stacks of shulker shells. Wow. Have you guys ever, I don't know. I, I don't think it felt too cheaty using that data pack, but man, that's a lot of stuff. And there's a bunch of loud cars going by right now. I do need to go ahead and grab some cobblestone real quick so we can do a little bit more work on this guy. So we can go ahead and grab a few out of these. What I want to do is kind of show you guys how the back is looking right now. Coda's got a toy right behind me though, so hopefully that's not too loud. But yeah, we will uh, take this one by ear and see kind of what's going on up here. So I was thinking we could go ahead. So the first floor is going to be right there. And then I want to bring it up one. So that'll be one right there above the floor. Then two, three, four, and five. And then we kind of have like cross beams going across right there. Um, to kind of help give us some extra detail. So we're gonna have a five tall floor and then we'll have like the cross beam and then we'll do one, two and three and then that'll bring that guy up even higher. And then here we're basically gonna be going by two all the way back to the centers. Uh, the center bits bringing that stuff all in here together. But yeah, we wanna go ahead and kind of stack it all up here towards the middle like that. Let's make sure we're doing this correct so we can go ahead and grab it from this side as well get these guys bring that stuff all the way up here i want to have room basically for like a jail or something like that to be on the bottom let's make sure we need to bring this up one two and three and that's good cool perfect so i want to go ahead and have a jail underneath as well so we want to be able to get a little bit of space in here for that guy while we're building it just so we can have some cool stuff going on and i just i want to make sure we got plenty of space for everything we're planning here. So we got all that stuff set up and I'm thinking that's probably a good amount of height for this build so we can get some decent amount of variation to it. This little tower bit here on the corner, I think is not gonna be that three by three base down all the way to the bottom. I was thinking basically we could go ahead and on this corner kind of start up like that and then bring it out a block, maybe like up there so it's a little bit higher and then kind of start widening it out so it kind of builds its way up a little bit more and goes up into the area and then up about here we get to that like three wide area just giving it that extra little bit of width and shape and everything like that just kind of making it so the bottom area where our road is going through doesn't feel super tight and cramped because we're throwing a big tower right there so i was thinking we could go ahead and kind of start that guy coming up out of the ground like starting way above something like that i don't really know i'll tell you what though guys let me go ahead and get some walls in on this guy we'll see what it's looking like here in just a all right everybody welcome on back so we're good to go with this guy i got the walls in place to some point where i'm comfortable bringing you guys back in because i think we got a good idea going here so this wall is basically just flat cobblestone. You can see that we buffed out the tower here just a little bit to get something more sturdy in there. We're gonna put some windows kind of going all the way up though. So we'll have three floors on the inside. This guy is gonna be our front face right here. So we're gonna have a little wooden accent bit right there. This will be kind of like a big old window right up here. And our floor comes in to look like kind of just this right now. That's all it's gonna be. I do wanna go ahead and cut a basement out eventually that's gonna be going down to here. Um, so we'll get to that guy here pretty soon. We actually, I think we're going to tackle the interior and everything today, which will be kind of fun. Uh, but for first, to get started here, let's go ahead and get all these guys in place so we can get just a little bit better of an idea of what this thing is going to be looking like. 
Um, I do want to go ahead and kind of throw in a big old window on this. So I was thinking we could go ahead and maybe like lift these up a little bit and do that something right like that. So we just have a little bit of like a raised window because this is supposed to be a guard shack. So we don't really want people to be able to see into it too much is what I was thinking. So I figured if we raise the window up so the light's kind of shining down into the area, that would kind of help us out. And then beyond that, we can go ahead and kind of jump up here. And these guys are all going to be going up to be in this tall as well, kind of going all the way up to this little bit right here. Uh, we can go ahead and shave these guys all off here too. So stripping everything down. And then the way we're going to do a roof little border on this is what I was thinking was that we could basically just come out to here, throw in some of these stairs and just kind of do those guys all the way across. This will give us a little bit of a border between what we're going to be doing on the roof. I don't quite know what I want to do on the roof yet. Uh, a few days ago, for those of you that are in the Discord, I was asking people like, what should we do to kind of make this look a little bit more colorful? What should we do like colors for the city wise? All that type of stuff. So I think we're going to bring in some sort of like a terracotta or something to do the roof up here. Thought that would be kind of cool. Uh, beyond that, we do have to go ahead and get this guy put on here. But I was thinking, uh, let's see. I wanted to figure out what we could do to make that look a little bit more interesting than what it... I wanted to go ahead and mess around with that guy to see if we could make it a little bit more interesting there. So I'm thinking we want to go ahead and grab a few more dark oak stairs if we have any of these guys lying around. We do need some cobblestone so we can go ahead and do, let's just go ahead and do that. And then where is dark oak stairs? Those guys, let's do that. 16 should be more than enough. Okay, uh, throw all of our dark oak back in here because we don't really need a whole lot of that stuff for a while. Let's grab those stairs just in case. Hmm, I'll tell you what, I, I'm gonna try and find some iron bars here real quick guys and I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. For those of you that have been around the channel for a while, you guys probably know exactly what we're going to be doing here, but basically this will kind of clue you guys in. So we're going all the way up this stuff here, looking like we have some upside down stair bits like that, just to add some extra details to them. And then I totally forgot to bring a crafting table. Let's go ahead and make you and then bam right there. Why did that take my oak wood? Actually, that's fine. We only had one oak wood. <laughs> now we only have one dark oak and that sucks. Okay, so we do need some of these guys just real fast uh, like that. And then let's jump on top of you. And then we're going to take our dark iron fence, throw that on top. And then we're going to grab our iron bars in this mess of an inventory. Throw those guys on top right there. So basically what we're doing is these cool little stepping up points right there. So we go from the upside down stair bit to a thick wall to kind of skinnier to even more skinny. And I really like what this kind of adds to a build. It adds a little bit of like a gothic structure almost. So we're going to do bam, bam and bam and then we can come in here do our upside down stair and upside down stair all the way to the top of these guys and then at the tippy top we basically just throw another one of these pointed bits on top and it really makes a i, I like this a lot and we've used it before in the world so i'm totally comfortable with adding it in again because i think it adds a lot of extra detail to the roof shape itself so now we can jump down take a look at that guy and you guys can see kind of what i'm thinking here so you see how it kind of arches everything up there i really really like the look of that i think it makes it look a lot cooler i do think that at that very top one though because right now it's kind of rounding it because we don't have that extra stair bit right there so i'm thinking we want to go ahead and throw that guy up on another block or something like that to spike it up even more i don't know i'll tell you what let me go ahead and get these in on the roof going all the way across i'll be back and welcome back guys so we got all those spiky bits on i also went ahead and brought in the back side i decided to go along the bottom of this and turn those strip logs out so they get these little kind of indenty bits on them i think it added a lot more detail to it i did that on the front side as well and you can see that we have our windows in place we got one shutter on there i'm working on getting those other ones on but I want to show you guys what's going on here. Next, you can see that we have purple terracotta in our inventory. That's kind of what I'm thinking we are going to, we're going to try going with this one for now, just to see how it is. And I'm thinking we want to go ahead and basically just bring this stuff all up here by two going straight across. Uh, we're basically going to be filling in straight along the lines of the stone bricks themselves. Uh, not really going up to where that stair height is, just to give a little bit of variation between the... Uh, wall itself and the roof bit that we have going on here uh, that's going to be filled in when we're working on the tower so you can go ahead and probably skip that little block for now but it's just one block so we can fill it in later if we need to uh, and then we can jump all the way up here to the last one and let's use that to jump up but we can get all the way up here do this guy going all the way across and i'm thinking this will look pretty cool i'm i'm hoping it does at least <laughs> 
Otherwise, I don't know what else we're going to do because I spent a lot of purple dye on this stuff that I had to go out and farm up all of it. So I was thinking we could go ahead and bring in an iron railing bit along this top there as well. Just to give it, again, some extra detail. And wow, okay, I like that a lot. We got to get rid of that block right there. But I think overall, this is a pretty good design. Let me go ahead and get the back bit on for this one then i'll come back with you guys we can build the roof to the tower and then we're actually going to be tackling the interior today as well so i can go ahead and get all this stuff wrapped up here on the outside and i'll be back with you guys to build that tower then we'll tackle the interior all right welcome back guys so we got this guy here pretty much ready to go built up and we can start doing the top of that i came in and a little bit of work detailing this guy out. So you can see we got the texture variation in. This whole backside over here is pretty much as done as I want it to be. I, I like this one how it is right here. Pretty simple. We'll have another little alleyway street kind of going through here. Back this way and going up a good distance. I did go ahead and get the box on for <laughs> what I want the lower area to be looking like as far as how deep it's going to go. But anyways, we got to go ahead and tackle this tower. Then we'll get into working on the rest of the stuff. So let's go ahead and jump up here and get this guy going. And we almost overshot that. Okay, so for starters, we want to go ahead and just get a row of purple terracotta going all the way around this guy so we can get just a little bit of extra detail-y bits in here. Beyond that, we want to go ahead, we're going to do a dark oak trim. So we want to go ahead and get all these guys down as well as some dark oak trapdoors. So right here, I was thinking we start with that and then bring you over and you over and then right here we're actually going to go ahead and bring that guy down one block just kind of to make it drop off a little bit give it a little bit more artistic flair to it almost uh so we can drop you down a little bit right there and then this guy's going to be bam bam and the last one right there and we could again oh nope that guy needs to be dropped down one okay so right there <laughs> These things are tricky to place when you're up here. It's kind of it's kind of weird how hard it is. Actually, I've realized building with shaders on is so freaking difficult. But anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and bring this guy all the way up here. Then at this point, we're going to go ahead and do another little bit of stair action right here. Get some more dark oak stairs in here. Bring these guys in. And we can do the upside down stair right there. You guys have probably seen me do this little pointed roof here before at least once. And then this one, we're going to make it a little bit more spiked up and taller and everything. So we're going to go ahead and do that guy right there. And then we bring in bam, bam. And we can go ahead and bring in dark oak fence, dark oak fence. And we need one more iron bar to throw right up there. And that is the general shape of what this guy's going to be looking like. Then we can come back in with all of this fancy stuff and kind of pile them up right here along the edge. I think it'd be pretty good to get this stuff going here um, so we can get a little bit more work done and then we can go ahead and do that. That's that's something I think is going to be pretty solid for what we're looking at there. Okay, yes. I like that one a lot. Okay, now that we got this guy done though, it's time that we can go ahead and start. That's pretty much the whole exterior done. I did this backside here as well. And so we got the exterior done. We're in here ready to go. And you guys can see I've done a little bit of work in this guy. So I was thinking right here, we could go ahead and do some action like that to get a little walkway up. And then we got a floor right in here where we can do like a little guard office or something. We've got rooms up above us and all that good stuff. So we got all this space. We can in walk right up here. We got a little window right like that. And that comes out to this open floor area where for now, we're just going to go ahead and throw a torch in here, but we do need to go ahead and open these guys up. As you can see, that's kind of where our extra floor area is. If we got some more oak slabs, we can go ahead and for now, I'm just going to kind of fill them in right like that. I want to, I was thinking we could go ahead and throw a little ladder right there and that'll get us up to the top. I do want to turn it into another floor of its own. So we got, <laughs> we got to get some more lights up here for sure real soon, but this is pretty much the whole upper area up here. I thought this would be pretty cool to kind of have that stuff set up. Now down to the basement, we got all this cool stuff down here ready to go. One thing I was thinking we could do to make this stuff more interesting down here was if we come actually outside, we can quickly make up some more of these cobble, uh, stone brick stairs. And then I want to go ahead and make it look like we have a jail down beneath. So you guys can see that we got this area right here brought in ready to go. And I was thinking we could go ahead, bam, bam, and bam. And that kind of opens these guys up right here so where we can do something like that. And then we go ahead and throw in an iron bar right there. So we kind of make these two little jail cell things. And I think it'll actually make the whole area look a lot more interesting, which is kind of my goal. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of that guy. And stone brick stair right there. Bam, bam, and bam. And that gives us a good idea of kind of what this general thing is going to be looking like. 
we might have to figure out a way to get those light blocks to not be showing through there but i think that's looking pretty solid now for the rest of the interior down here as you can see it's kind of more of that we just got to build it out get it ready to go but i was thinking we basically we can draw a line right there and create a doorway right here which will be pretty solid and then we can go ahead and create another doorway or another wall right there and have another door right back in this guy. So we got two cells right there. We got room for both of them, which would be pretty cool. And actually, I wanna go ahead and make these a little bit smaller, a little bit more cramped and a little tiny. Yeah, so they're both two by three areas. We can go ahead and throw in some carpet for a little bed down there, make it not super comfy, cozy down here. They don't need full on beds. They are in jail after all, but yeah. Let me go ahead and sleep the night away, guys. Let me get a little bit more work done, done on this stuff, and I'll be back with you guys with another update. We can take a look at some stuff. All right, guys, welcome back. So after looking at this guy for a while, I think that tower is almost too big for like the total size of this guy, but I actually still really like it. I think once we get another building over here, maybe we do like a more of a stony type building. I think it'll really bring this guy in. Anyways, though, I got some stuff to show you guys here. We have, I've been working on the interior just a little bit. So we got this front entryway room right here, which I actually wanted to come back in and go ahead and just kind of place some of these guys along here just to fill that all in just a little bit. All right, beyond that though, I threw a painting over here just so we could have something on the wall because I felt like this doorway opens up here if we put like a table there and make it feel super crowded. So we got a table over here that I wanna go ahead and throw a few things on. For now, I'm just throwing kind of like an item frame right there. So we can do that type of stuff. Up here, I was thinking about doing some sort of a storage bin or something like that. So we could do like right there. Maybe grab our chests, throw those guys up onto this point, make a big old chest right up there, and maybe we go ahead and actually kind of just like bring another one in right here, do a good old chest, and then do like a note block or something like that. Just some way that we can get a little bit of variety for storage and that type of good stuff up here, but without really crowding the front at public entrance area because we wouldn't want to put like armor and weapons out here because then people could just grab them and run out and then we don't know where they would go. For now, since I don't have a banner for the city yet, I'm just using white banners kind of as temporary placeholder ones so we can fill those guys in later with our actual banner design. If you guys want to help come up with that, that would be super helpful for some ideas on that one. Moving into our next area though, this one I've done a little bit more work on. We've got a nice little table over here with some steaks laying out for all the people who are, all the guards can sit down and eat and chat and all that good stuff. Got some storage up on the wall there. I'm trying to figure out more ways to detail this guy out. Then we got this kind of armor stand over here just displaying some guard armor or something like that just some iron armor just chilling in here this little base part of the tower we got this little open area i figured this could kind of be like the guard captain's office or something like that just something really kind of small and off to the side where he has his own place to work he's got like a map of the city or something like that or part of the city that they oversee so they can see all that they can maybe these guys monitor the farming village as well right here so they just kind of have their general workspace area inside of here for the guard captain to take a good look at, do all his work stuff there and everything. The rest of this, I'm kind of confused on ideas to move forward with like what we can add in here. So I'm still playing with ideas and still working through things. Upstairs, I have not touched yet. That's next on the list. Downstairs though, is completely finished up, ready to go. So we got like a little jailer can like sit here at his chair eat his food and watch the prisoners in there we got another banner that we'll fill in later we got just some storage some weapons some armor maybe confiscated goods or something like that all can go all along this row and all these different chests and things and then inside these rooms we have just levers that'll open them up so we can go in there and monitor things they got nice little beds right there using some brown carpet those are dark and mobs can spawn in there so we got to make sure we keep these doors closed and don't really fill them in or anything like that, but they can kind of look out at the sea and see what's going on outside and maybe uh, some of the water from the carts going by or the rain will like seep down into their cell and make it all gross and stuff down there, which is perfect for a jail. Upstairs, like I said, we haven't done anything up here yet. This is what I'm gonna be working on next. Not too sure on ideas for up here. However, I have been playing with the idea of kind of opening these guys up as to having extra window bits, just some way that we can kind of see out of here. And I think we are gonna go ahead and do this. Just again, just so we have that extra little bit of area to bring more natural light into these guys. I think that'll help out a lot. In here, we got this stuff. We got another floor right above us, which right up here can be like some storage goods or something like that, or maybe the bottom one is, and that we can have like another, some people sleeping up there. I don't know. I'll tell you what though, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this stuff a bit more, and I'll be back with you as soon as I have another update for you. 
All right, everybody, welcome on back. We got the upstairs finished up now, and we can check this guy out here real fast. I did add up, edit up the rest of the video, and oh man, we are going to be a pretty long one here right now, so I'm going to try and make this a little bit quick. So, upstairs, I went ahead and brought in like a spruce railing right here just to help break up that purple color that we have coming through, and we're back onto the stairwell. And then over here, I just wanted to throw in like a desk so somebody could be like writing in a journal, writing in their book, and they got like a cup over here with maybe some old coffee in it. I don't know, but we got all these like storage crates and things like that just for the guards to have their stuff. And then we got room for one, two, three, four, five, and six beds. We got a double chest. We got some more crates. We got some flowers and some books. And then we got a banner up here. Again, we need an idea for a banner. If anybody you got any ideas, that would be awesome. In here, though, we have two more beds. So maybe these are like the rookie recruits and they live out here where they're like, have to be watching over this area at night or something like that. I don't know. But up here, I did go ahead and kind of created like a cramped little storage room. Maybe we could go ahead and just fill in those windows. But I think from the outside, it makes it look a little bit better. But yeah, that is pretty much what we got going on up here for this guy. I wanted to leave an open middle space right here. Just like we could bring in like a carpet or something like that, maybe. But I actually really like this one as is. I think we have a Good use of space up here. We could have went with like military rows and done like a row of beds and a row of beds. It's done a row of beds and gone like 12 people up here. But this is supposed to be just like a little guard outpost barracks or something or another. But yeah, guys, I'll tell you what. Let me go ahead and find a comment or question of the day that I can pick out here. We can talk about that one real fast and finish this episode off. So I will be back with you guys very, very shortly. All right, guys, it is that time. We got our commenter question of the day ready to go. This one is coming in from Bob Jill, and they are saying, hey, Whip, I was wondering, how do you stay inspired while building such big builds? And what are your plans for this series in the future as far as builds? I think you should add in some pirate themed ship battles and areas and incorporate some Elven fantasy builds too as a way to add more lore and story behind your builds. So immediate plans, as you guys can probably tell, we're going to be working on this city for quite a long time. My plan is to get this at least established to be looking like a city, whether that means basically taking that wall and filling in this whole area here. I'd love to start getting the whole area cleared out, everything, get our districts established, and kind of get this at a point where I feel like I'm okay taking a break for a little while. So we'll probably be doing the next 15 or so, 20 or so episodes here, just adding in extra builds. Because if we do one building per episode, that's 15 buildings. And this thing's probably going to be like two to 300 buildings in total. Um, so that's immediate plans right now. Also directly down that way, uh, across this ocean, I want to be doing a farming village. Kind of similar to that one, but a different style in general. And I have a cool idea in mind for how I want to set it up and do all that stuff. So I think we'll take a break from this guy eventually and do a little project down there. Beyond that... Um, what were the other parts of this thing? We had uh, inspiration on big builds. So for me, a lot of what I do is I break things up into smaller pieces. So you guys saw while we were building this one, we put the shape of it together. We built the, the wall frames themselves in. We built the general base structure of it. Then we built the roof and then we built this guy. And then we did the interiors. Those were all kind of small steps that I picked up kind of as we went so we could break it up into smaller projects. Last episode, when we were doing these things over here, we built the tree, we built the little garden it's on, then we worked on the road, and we worked on these things. It's all just individual little projects, little steps that add up to a full completed project in the end. Always have something in mind for what you want the end goal to look like, but then be like, okay, let's break out a list of steps to complete it and go from there. And the last part, as far as the pirate theme stuff going, if we ever get super bored and want to get back into shipbuilding, that would be fun to do out in the major ocean out there. I don't think we'll do it out in here. This one's supposed to be like a protected bay without any pirates, maybe a small smuggler ship or something like that. But yeah, that would be pretty cool as far as an elven theme goes. My plan is to kind of have this general area we're in right now be very much themed around mankind and men and not have a whole lot of fantasy into it, but still have those influences. But the eventual goal was once we finished the giant mountain range up there was to drop that down and have that side be where all of our big fantasy things are. That's like a year or two down the road, but it's definitely something I'm considering working with and working towards in the near future. Well, not near future. In the future, uh, we got to finish that mountain range first, but I want to do some like dwarven stuff in the mountains themselves, then drop it down into like this super dense 
um, like Asian inspired jungle type environment. And now that we have bamboo coming, that's something way more probable and way more doable. So that'd be really cool to mess around with. Something like Ungoro Crater theme from World of Warcraft. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed building up this guard barracks here. Please let me know in the comments below what types of buildings you guys want to be seeing added in the near future and what type of stuff you guys would like to be seeing happening around the city. Where should we focus on? What type of stuff should we do? And let me know that down in the comments below because you guys are a huge driver for as far as we focus on the city for now. Because as you can see, we have a lot of space. So I'd love to focus on what you guys want to be seeing there. Anyways, please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. And I will catch you on the flip side.